So we are in the lab of Custom Engineering in Parma, Italy, and uh, we want to show to Chris uh, and India Railways uh, the potential of uh, KPM 300 uh, printers. For this demo, we are using a printer equipped with a 2D barcode uh, scanner with uh, a very print for uh, verification of watermarks, and we will use a paper stock with uh, 2D barcode, uh, which is a sequential, so let's say the first ticket is barcode number one, the second is number two, third is number three, and there is uh, a watermark for avoiding uh, paper duplication uh, uh, or fraud. So, uh, purpose of uh, the demo we will do will be to uh, print a ticket and uh, at the same time to validate the paper stock through the uh, 2D barcode uh, reader and uh, we will demonstrate to you that uh, in case the sequence of the barcode barcode number one, barcode number two, barcode number three is not respected, the printer will stop. Uh, at the same time uh, we are going to print uh, a watermark in uh, uh, four possible positions. We selected the four but you can imagine that theoretically it can be a uh, hundred position which are defined in a random way through the logic of the printer. So the printer knows where the watermark will be printed and in case somebody is manipulating the printing process the printer will uh, immediately find out because there will be a mismatch between the position the watermark is intent to be printed by the printer and the real position where the watermark is in the ticket. Uh, at the same time, through scanning the watermark, we will be able to verify if the paper is thermal or not, because in case no uh, printed watermark is present on the paper, it means that the paper is not thermal. Um, so, we, as I said, also we are going to understand if the ticket is printed in real time or if somebody is trying to use a ticket printed elsewhere. Uh, we are going also to show you that the position of reading the, mar the, the um, um, watermark is something that can be programmed by the software uh, that has been done uh, um, for this demo and of course uh, are available uh, the sequence of command uh, ASCII code for you for customize uh, your software and customize the reading area of the barcode. So we are going to load the paper, you see that the um, loading proper, uh, process is pretty easy, the printer does everything uh, alone and um, we are going now to print uh, through the demo software a ticket and uh, as I said we will uh, print a ticket and read the barcode. Okay. You see that the ticket is here and uh, it has been selected in a random way this position of the watermark. You have the scan of the ticket into the uh, demo application. Now we are going to print another ticket other ticket we will put it here so you see the presence of the watermark and the different position of the uh, printed watermark. Since the sequence of the scanned barcode are um, matching because uh, they are sequential, there is consi consistency and the printed watermark check is passed also. Um, you see, uh, Andrea, can you zoom here? You see that there are different 2D barcodes which has been validated and printed watermark in random position. I'm going to print another ticket for your convenience so you see that Everything, everything is done very quickly and in real time. You see the presence of watermark and uh, in this case you see that the 
um, watermark has, has been printed in another position. Okay? Now we are going to use a manipulated ticket without watermark and with a pre-printed position of uh, um, printed watermark like in this case, so you know that these tickets are, let's say, false or has been printed elsewhere. In this case, we want to show you that there will be no consistency in the sequence of the barcode. And paper is loaded. We launch the printout here and immediately we get an error because there is no consistency in the sequence of the ticket. You can show it here. Inside we have the manipulated ticket where there is no consistency. So now we will reproduce the sequence of the ticket. So let's say barcode number four and the ticket has been validated properly. You see other position of the watermark. In this case we will try to show you uh, and demonstrate to you that the printer is able to understand if somebody is um, uh, attempting to do a fraud on the ticket uh, using a um, non-thermal ticket, this one is non-thermal, but maintaining the, keeping the consistency in the sequence of the barcode. So what I'm going to do is to is to um, stick, stick the non-thermal ticket on the top of a thermal ticket in this way. So imagine that we are able to maintain the consistency of the barcode but the top of the ticket is non-thermal. We will launch immediately the print ticket button and you get immediate error from the software. We can also decide to void this ticket rather than cutting and uh, the printer can call for security or supervisor for demonstrating that a fraud attempt has been um, tried by, by the user. Uh, we thank you so much for your attention and we remain available for any question you, you might have.